And so what I what I love about the athletes of today is that they're kind of throwing out all those old rules and just saying, right? It's like, and I get, they don't care that you don't like it or that you're uncomfortable with it. I mean, Simone Biles, to do what she did, I mean, I come back to that a lot where it's like, this woman, people don't realize how what she did when she said, I'm not competing today in the Olympics. Yes. It had to go against everything she's ever been taught, yeah. every fiber of her being, all of the, you're letting your country down, you're letting your teammates down, you're letting the world down, you know, you have to do this, you're the best, you know, like all of those things in that moment, she chose her mental health over all of that stuff. And people don't realize how hard that must have been yeah. for her. They're like, oh, you know, it's like almost dismissive. Like she, you know, you know, she quit, right? Yeah. <laughs> it's like, yeah. that's, like that's the easy way out or something. No, the easy way out would have been to say, which is what I would have done 20 years ago. Oh, my ankle. I think I, when I hit my, <laughs> I think I hit my ankle, yeah. I'm hurt. You know, I can't compete. That's the only thing they'll take as an excuse. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And so I might have been tempted to just do that, right? Yeah. But no, she went on and said, "This is I'm quitting because of my mental health. I mean, the courage, yeah. you know? Like, I get floored by that. I think about it sometimes. I get floored by it because it's like that just was not an available option for so many years. Yeah. And to see her, to see Michael Phelps, you know, he's mm -hmm. doing a lot of things on mental health, you know, uh, Naomi Osaka. Yeah. Um, the U.S. gymnastics team, the whole thing, Ali yeah. Raisman with the, you know, and it's like all of a sudden people are just like, you know what? Like, I get it, you know, but I like, it was almost like we were talking about before. I'm just going to be me and you can react however you're going to react, but it's not going to change the fact that I need to take care of myself in this moment. Yeah. And I'm just going to go ahead and do that. I love yeah. it. I love it. Yes. I love it too. I love it. The humanity, the humanity and, and what, what you did in 1996 and thereafter, when you made the decision to walk away from something that wasn't healthy for you, that was a job. Um, and what Kevin Love and DeMar DeRozan and Naomi Osaka and the list goes on and on that you had mentioned are doing is unlocking the club for athletes and mental health. And that mm -hmm. is something, that is a topic that um, I definitely want to spend the time to normalize it and have a much more regular discussion and discourse about this. And, and I want to invite you back to have that conversation because I think you have such a unique, a unique perspective on it as an elite athlete, knowing what it was like, and also as a, a counselor and a therapist um, doing this work. And so